Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Hollow Knights. First apology for still being a little under the weather as I record this. And secondly, uh, welcome back and thanks for the support on episode one. We're gonna keep playing here. Have seen you in the comments say, whoa, when NL comes across a puzzle, he's in trouble. Cause this guy, hey, ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I'm saying. First off, that's a very uh, affable way of saying you think I'm an idiot. I do take offense to that. At the same time, thank you for your support. Um, I, I can't access the inventory on my controller, which is a little bit of a problem. So on... Uh, on keyboard, however, I can rest here, and I can access my inventory, and then you can see that we have a charm, which is, I just bought the Wayward Compass. So this is a charm, and by equipping this, um, now we have the ability uh, to whisper its location to the bearer whenever a map is open, allowing wanderers to pinpoint their current location. Which means that I actually, if I switch back and forth between keyboard and mouse and controller, I can equip charms. So I am also going to equip, um, the quill which we need here and another shopkeeper moved into the city as well so we're gonna check out the things that um, he sells but we're not gonna do so just yet because we're not gonna have the money to buy them either way but for now let's just go back and we will sleep at this bench or rest at this bench rather and switch to keyboard and then oh the wayward quill is not a charm so let's focus old nail Tradition, so that's our our uh, active weapon right now, map and quill. So the quill is actually a passive. All right, my bad, my bad. That's fine. All right, let's get down here and um, experience some more Hollow Knight action here. So if you're wondering why I'm back in Dirtmouth, it's or Dirtmouth, it's because they um, save your progress, but they don't actually save where you were. They restore your position at the last bench you uh, actually stayed at. So we're just gonna move forward here and. You know, we're gonna try to kill some enemies because I would like to pick up some uh, ability upgrades. There were some uh, abilities and passives and, and other related charms that I saw in the shop that I'm interested in. For example, um, a charm that makes it so all of the uh, coins or gears, I, I forget what it's called, it actually says so on the, um, on the shop inventory screen, but so those actually get sucked up into your inventory instead of just, uh, you know, you having to pick them all up manually, which can be a little bit cumbersome to say the least. But for now, I'm having a good time playing Hollow Knight. I'm glad so many of you seem to be having a good time watching it as well. I'm excited to see how things progress here. And I thought we did fairly well on the last episode. That's not really a good sign right there that I took so much damage there by being an idiot. But you know what? That's what all this uh, soul is here for. Might as well use it. And we're not doing a flawless run. I think that's fair to say. And this may not be uh, near Automata, but at the same time... Is it Automata? I don't know. Um, at the same time, I I shouldn't be getting hit that much. So I think this is a new area. Hello, hello friend. Hello friend, you are not as nice as I thought you might be. Come on, get in there. I think it's very good that we were able to um, get that map and quill. It just seems like I'm able to find these areas now without having to keep track of it, you know, on a piece of graph paper in my apartment, which is way better for me. So far, this guy's not that bad. Looks like he does three attacks. No, I was thinking like three attacks and he falls down, but I think, I guess it's just, uh, it's dynamically determined. It's actually like a pretty nice haul there. We're up to 125 currency already. We freed another one of these jokers from their prison. Lucky us. So I'm assuming that the next area we want slash need to go is going to be to the right of where we killed that last boss. Because we were pretty much uh, done with that last area after we did this. So let's come back up and we'll uh, go check on the uh, area where when you rescue those little slug babies, you get some currency for it. Because we're getting to the point where we could probably buy another charm pretty soon. Just checking the map on occasion here to make sure it's all good. Uh, this is the Temple of the Diseased Egg, aka me right now. After taking a little bit of Dayquil and turning OBS on. I Really, I said this in Isaac episodes, but it's the darn truth. I sound worse than I feel right now. I actually feel pretty good. Um, except for the requisite kind of sick ickiness. But if you ignore that, I'm actually... Uh, I feel pretty good right now, so don't don't spend any tears crying over me. It's really just I gotta wait for my throat to catch up to the rest of my body, and that's not dirty. And if you try to make it dirty, then you're trying too hard, honestly. So just come back to like what I would consider our first major sort of pseudo hub here. There's a lot of rooms branching off of this tree trunk, and then 
We got another dude. Oh, so you should be well, splashing uh, me with currency right now. Thank you very much. 15. Not bad. I'm usually not like a 100% completionist guy, but I have to admit, I want to see this poor man thing uh, being reunited with, with all of his perceived children. It will break my heart if they do like some kind of, you know, twist ending where actually he's like a human trafficker or something. He's like their slumlord. I'll never forgive him. But I don't think, it doesn't seem like that kind of game. I'm just always waiting for the other shoe to drop, I suppose. And now that I'm back here in like downwell mode, sort of understand what's going on. Oh, I wanted that. We should probably get out of the mindset that, that our currency is uh, limited, right? We can just keep killing enemies as they show up. Um, there is a way to go down here as well, which I figured we'd go check on. Like, I don't know what this little uh, indicator is on the map. Like, you see where there's the... There's something that looks almost like the barrel of a gun or something like that, or it looks like a super scope for the Super Nintendo, and then there's dashed lines to the right of it. I don't know what that indicates. Like, maybe that indicates there's an area we can only go through if we have... Um, a certain ability or maybe that just indicates we go to a different screen or something at that point I'm not totally sure so um, yeah we'll just try to drop down it says there's a way down in this area maybe I'm misreading the map oh you know what I bet the way down probably requires you to go over here first and then drop down like it has a sign the sign is like there's all sorts of there's like a Doug trio over there I'm not much of a Pokemon guy so I can't say for certain um, there's another path up here as well. We've already killed that guy, so I don't think we have to go through with this if we don't want to. And again, with my exploration here, don't take this as me trying to get to- Oh, there's a bench right there. <laughs> don't take this as me trying to get to 100% completion. Rather, it's, um, it's really more so me trying to, uh, figure out where to go. And I'm trying to make myself more of a stop and smell the roses sort of guy along the way, you know? experience the atmosphere and tone as much as just the the raw unfiltered action I hear like some it's like a yeah that thing right there I don't know how we can't get to it yet though we need like a double jump or something along those lines I was kind of hoping we'd get an upgrade like that after the first boss fight but no such luck so far all right get out of here Don't drop me onto the spikes due to my own idiocy. I deserve to get dropped onto the spikes due to my own idiocy, but I'm a little offended by it. It's one of those games that's a little deceptive. Like, it looks so easy when you're watching it that you're kind of like, I would have to be some kind of moron not to, you know, perfect this level. But maybe it's, uh, it's not that simple. I do want to check out what's in that room in the middle as well, but that might be another room that we need a, uh... We need a double jump in order to access. But we'll find out. Or maybe we won't. That's the other thing. There's two possible outcomes, I suppose. Maybe we'll find it. Maybe we won't. Still got another room to go up here. Mostly right now, I think we're gated by verticality. A double jump would give us a lot of access to rooms that previously were inaccessible. Like here, can we make this jump? Easily. We didn't take the upper path last time, so this may actually give us... Ah, this is just, uh, currency. Not bad. But not really what I was looking for. I don't know about that. I think some of that might be basically inaccessible. Um... Where are we going here? Okay, just keep going to the right. I think we got one more screen to go uh, before we find like another tree trunk style structure here. We have been up here. I think that's what, if, if the map is like sort of filled in, I think we've been there. If it's just an outline, I think we haven't. So this is the, no, one more up, is the area that should give us access to new stuff or whatever that, that sort of like seeming boss room is over there. Yeah, it looks like it's right here. And we haven't been to the right of this section either, so this is really where we're going to start branching off from here, I think. Alright, let's just go back to exploration mode now. That's why I like having the map, otherwise... I might never have figured out where we were supposed to go here. So I, that's, I, know, I know myself, you know, to thine own self be true. Buy those map upgrades early so you don't have to keep any kind of, like, mental cartography. It's going to be a positive thing for me, it's going to be a positive thing for the viewers. It's the way Dad did it, it's the way America does it, and 
and it's worked out pretty well so far. Now, why why that guy is easy to me, and the, the enemies that just so happen to fly are like uh, the riddle of the Sphinx, I have no idea, but we've at least made it through. And we're getting a little rich in the process as well. Ooh, and also, reminding myself that uh, I am also human. And the, the small enemies are the ones that get you. It's like Ninja Gaiden on the NES. You know, the bats are terrible. The big enemies, you're like, no problem. Well, still like a considerable problem. So this may well be a boss fight. Or some kind of like pseudo boss fight. I don't know if it's structured that traditionally. Like where there's, you know, regular old bosses. Or maybe there's challenge rooms. Or who knows? Well, you know. Okay. Got a great sense of scale here. Little disconcerting. That was also extremely bad of me. I'm expecting, like... I was trying to think of the guy's name from Captain America Civil War. Who's the enemy? Zebo. Expecting him to show up at this point. See, that's like a mild spoiler for Civil War. Okay, here we go. False Knight. This is not Zebo. Zemo? It doesn't matter. Let's just do well this time so we don't end up on TiVo. That was not a smart move. However, abuse the invincibility that you get as a result. That attack's easy enough. Okay, that one seems like it'll hurt. That was extremely dumb and poorly timed, but we made it happen. There's no way this dude's dead. That's just gotta be like phase one. Probably shouldn't stand there. Okay, I, I understand. Alternating periods of vulnerability. I wonder if we can hit those into it. Or if that's just to recharge our soul. Alternating periods of vulnerability and invulnerability. You're still good, you're still good. I'm not sure if that recharged our soul. That was... I, I keep timing this so badly, dude. But luckily we're getting out of this. Thank you for a life lived on Super Nintendo in my adolescence, by the way, for giving me a little bit of a built-in advantage in this fight. So soul is no problem. Now, if this is a real retro-inspired game, you know what that means. It means this is the last one. You should only have to go up against this guy three times in order to make this happen. Four times if you want to break all expectations. Five times if you just want to get patently ridiculous with it. Okay, he's been knocked down. Does he get up again? Is he ever going to keep me down? Okay, now he jumps too far. Heal, heal! No, you did not have time. He is dead. Or is he? I guess we got to go face him down here. I mean, I kind of feel bad he's in this, like, incapacitated state. There he goes, sight read, first try. Don't let anybody tell you I don't have video game skill. I wish to wield his axe now. City Crest. Um, if I hit I, I should be able to investigate that. Um, just go left here. City Crest. It's the Wayward Compass, we've already got it equipped, I understand, but what, what is the City Crest? Stone slab bearing the crest of the Hallow Nest capital city has an... Whoa! Whoa! What's going on here? I'd like... Well, I mean, I'll follow you. I did want to see what was going on with that city crest. I'm a little breathless here. But I'm not talking about a song by the cores. Um... You know what? Let's let's take it back this way. I want to see what's going on, but first let's see what the uh, the city crest is all about. Stone uh, has an insert on the back that would fit into a slot. Okay, so this means that we can use this at some uh, basically artificial lock in order to progress. Probably is my guess. I don't know. Maybe we should have hit that thing more. Maybe it was like a finding a vagrant in Dark Souls or something like that, and we just. Totally whiffed on it. So don't, yeah, don't leave this behind. This looks valuable, dude. Well, it, it was, like, literally valuable. It's a lot of credits. 
And if we move to the left, does this just go back into a stage we've already been to? It doesn't appear so. Maybe our, our true reward lies in here. There are torches. We're messing their home up, something fierce. I'm just trying to jump to get a little, like, a view of what's going on up here. Maybe cheat a little bit in case I don't want to fight this enemy. All right, enter. Doesn't appear to be an enemy at all, honestly. New area? We go deeper into the cave? There's a bench, which I will rest at, certainly. Perfect number of credits right now. And what do you got going on? Oh ho! Who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim, a strange empty face, and a wicked looking weapon. Thank you, Mathis. Something important has drawn you into Hallow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is you need my help. Say no more, friend. I'm gonna give you a nasty. I'm gonna give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh ho ho! It's a mask, some some sort. This strikes me as being a new ability. Or maybe we just lost the game. No, consumed the Vengeful Spirit. Okay, totally, uh, I played Dota. I like Vengeful Spirit. They nerfed swap range like four years ago and I never forgave them. But tap B to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul, replenish soul by striking enemies. So I'm assuming that is a projectile attack. And it's a little bit more colorful now. Oh, oh you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seemed to have slipped away myself. Oh, ho, ho. Now we're awake. I was wondering whether you would do me a small favor, not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. Uh, I know how this goes. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with a small favor, my friend. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, I appear to have no choice in the matter, so um, let's let's do so. Oh, tap B, tap B. All right, pretty sick. I'm for that. Um, now we can use that to uh, kill the, or not kill, but free. The, <laughs> there's only two verbs you need to use in this game. There's kill and then there's free, and uh, I used the wrong one. But there's a, another, like, slug child that is... Trapped and we needed a projectile to get it or a double jump and we appear to have that projectile now We just need to gain access back to the other half of the the map that was previously uh, Where we were but is now inaccessible to us. I think and yeah, sure Maybe maybe this will give us access to it by climbing back up through here So these guys I think you just wait for them to unfurl It's easy enough break out of our prison cell here perhaps you cannot stop me. What if I just... Yeah, okay, that's another way you could deal with them, I suppose, is just ancestral spirit the shit out of them. So we can't jump here. Is that what they were trying to teach us? Yeah, I think that's what they are trying to teach us. See? Not not a total idiot, I hope. You know, I, I, I figure out what the game's trying to teach me on a regular basis. Well, on an irregular basis, but still. Sorry, dude. That's uh, bad luck for you. And now we have something to do with our soul. Uh, apart from just, like, saving it up to heal, which I think is valuable. So now we can actually, uh, use it for offensive purposes instead of just, you know, if we if we haven't lost any HP, it's just worthless to us. So, I think that, um, it's a positive thing for us to have something else to do, honestly. Um, alright, yeah. See ya in hell, I suppose. Oh, this guy stayed up there. We can also just beat him back, I guess. They just seem to take less damage that way. Oh, these are soul hearts. So we can go through on the left here, I think. There was... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Bad, bad play. Extremely bad play. Ex so much worse than the play that I previously called extremely bad. Get back here. I want my currency, and I want it now. So we're almost at 500. This will allow us to buy a couple of charms whenever we go back up to the hub world, but uh, as of right now, we haven't had much recourse to do that. I think this is just kind of an optional teaching area. I thought there was an exit somewhere. I, I mean, I, I know there was an exit somewhere around here. Okay, don't do what I did there. That was extremely foolish. So we'll drain our spirit. 
Grab some HP, come down here. Oh! I understand now. This dude fills up our soul. And then we shoot him with Vengeful Spirit from afar. Alright, that, that's a little embarrassing. Yeah, you don't need to give me the... Yeah, we, we still don't trigger him that closely, but I understand now. This is how we're going to defeat this guy that was gaining our progress earlier. Not suggesting I'm some sort of mad genius or anything. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, I think first I'm going to heal myself. Okay, that was obviously not the right call. Could this be our first Hollow Knight death? I think it could be. And there's really no reason for it. But, okay, take some time to heal up. Atone for your previous mistakes. That is bullshit. I was... I was healing, you jerk. I am actually bad. I'm embarrassed, and I'm I'm feeling like a baddie as a result of that. I tried to, Probably should have just hit him with Vengeful Spirit, but instead I tried to, to heal myself up like a... Like a jerk. And I don't know if we've lost all our currency forever, or if there are souls awaiting us. I think it's fair to say I overthought that area to a large degree. That's what you get for calling the game too easy, right? Well, it's not like... Two truths that seem uh, to counteract one another can exist simultaneously. On the one hand, um, I still think that the combat thus far has been pretty easy. On the other hand, I'm also an idiot. So, like those two truths, although seemingly competing with one another, I think definitely exist in the same spectrum. But rest, rest assured, I am embarrassed by, uh, by my performance there. We don't have soul to deal with this gentleman right now. But you know, that that death hopefully can make me stronger in the future by virtue of uh, making me a little bit less of an idiot. And uh, if, if we lose 500 currency to make that happen, so be it, you know? Mistakes have consequences. So, you hear that? Oh, it's my, it's my, it's my spirit! What?! Okay. That is an ethereal version of me that's trying to kill me. What do we do about that? Now I'm being introduced to these mechanics that I did not know even existed, so I'm a little frightened about what my future holds in particular. You can see that, like, my mask is cracked there. Or, I don't know if it's my mask, but... It's, uh, whatever our orb was that was holding our HP is cracked there, so let's pick up all this... I thought I saw him over there. How the hell are we gonna kill our past self? Maybe it's just, like, our ghost haunts us, and then if we can actually get to the point where we can pick up the, um... Come, come get a taste. If we can actually get to the point where we can pick up the, um... The blood stain, for lack of a better word, then that ghost will stop being mad at us? I don't know. I would like to have both of these. Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Okay, so we have two soul hearts. What the hell do you do about this guy? Oh, you can hit him. If you kill your past self, you get to get your stuff back. Okay, we do get to get our stuff back in that case. That's reassuring. Alright, now roast and toast this guy. Come on, come on. Thank you. I didn't think we had the level of spirit necessary to fire a fire, uh, vengeful spirit there. This time we do. Okay, so he's taking one damage. Seems to be doing nothing for us. Three hits. Three hits and we'll open this up. I think at the very least we've recovered a little bit. We're playing a more patient game. Sure, I got hits, but... Not three hits? Hollow Knight is like reinventing the rules of Nintendo. With its four hit meta. That is apparently completely scrambling my brain. There you go, four hits. What do we get? Soul Catcher. So I'll hit I on the keyboard. Used by shamans around the world to draw more soul from the world around them. Increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with the nail. So, oh, you can only equip it at a bench. That's right. Um, what's what's going on up there? Good to know, though. Hey, what the heck, dude? 
Uh, you've slayed the beast, that poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude, of course. We both know you wouldn't have made it through without the spell of mine. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, I mean, you're correct. And look, the gate between us is open. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, this is a bench. We should be able to, uh... I'm trying to use the back button, but it, it just... I think it's my controller is non-proprietary, so... Um, we'll equip this. Increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with a nail. That's fine for now. I think it's a, a very convenient stopping point for now. Thank you for watching episode 2 of Hollow Knight. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It's a brand new series. If you liked it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Next episode, we're going to continue uh, making our way through the world, especially now that we have this projectile. There's new things open to us, including the ability to uh, kill that boss that was guarding an area that was previously inaccessible. So for now, thanks for watching. I think I've got my to-do list for the next episode. And I'll see you next time.